Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Zach Pascarello. I am a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. I'm a bookkeeper. I own Harrisburg Bookkeeping, and I recently started a trucking company, Route 20 Trucking Company. And I work right now with non-CDL box trucks. And I've been sharing an inside look into my actual QuickBooks, my, my books, for my trucking company. I see a lot of people posting, you know, $5,000 a week revenue every single week in the first week that I got my box truck. And so I just want to provide just like some actual genuine legitimate insight <clears throat> into uh into my trucking company. So I've been going week by week. If you missed my first couple of videos, I talk about all the startup costs and I talked about my first month. So I got my truck in the beginning of July. And so I talked about the first month. I didn't really make any runs in July just because I got the truck and then I had to wait for it to get inspected, get the DOT inspection, and then I had to wait on some repairs. And so the first month was kind of a wash in terms of revenue. But now that August is done with, I'll show you the last week of August. Uh, something kind of cool happened. I got a pretty good opportunity for my driver from a local company. I'll go into more detail on that, but I'll show you the last week of August. And then I'll kind of show you a broad overview of the entire month of August. So if you guys like these videos, if you're starting your own box truck company, if you're thinking about starting it, if you just started it and you kind of want a unique accounting and bookkeeping perspective into the box truck company world, uh, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and um, just follow along with my journey. I hope this helps. I'm going to continue making these videos through the, the good, the bad, the ugly and hopefully we all can learn a little bit from each other. So without further ado, I will switch over to my QuickBooks. Okay, so like I said, Route 20 Trucking Company. This is my QuickBooks account. And if you don't have QuickBooks already, I highly recommend it. And if you need help getting your QuickBooks set up, or if you want help tracking your expenses, generating your profit and loss, reach out. You can find me on Facebook, Harrisburg Bookkeeping, or you can find me at my website, harrisburgbookkeeping.com. Okay, so if you're not familiar with QuickBooks, then just bear with me. And if you are, then you probably know how to find your profit and loss statement. So I'm going to, I've already categorized all my transactions for August. So I'm just going to go straight to reports. And this is the really great thing about doing your bookkeeping in real time. So I see a lot of people wait until the end of the year to do all their bookkeeping and I don't know. I don't think that's the best idea. You're going to file your taxes. Okay. But you're not going to remember most of the expenses you had and you're not going to remember how to categorize things. And most importantly, you're not going to see in real time how your company is doing. So you want to keep up with your bookkeeping. It's not fun. It's not glamorous. No one likes doing it. You're not going to make a bunch of money doing it, keeping up with your bookkeeping, but it is really important. If you just dedicate, you know, 30 minutes a day, a couple hours a week to do some admin work, um, just keep up with your bookkeeping and your QuickBooks. And I, I really think it'll pay off. And if you, like I said, if you guys need help with it, I'm happy to work with you. I especially like working with other truckers, other logistics companies, because I understand your language and I understand your business. Okay. So this is, let's see. So I did one, two, I did the first three weeks. So now we'll go August 22nd through August 31st. And we will look at just the last week of August. And this is my profit and loss. So you can see here up top here, we have income or revenue, which I have categorized as sales. So this is what you hear whenever people say I grossed 5,000 or I grossed 10 K in a week with my boxer company. This is what they're talking about. This is your gross revenue, your gross income. This is before all expenses. So in the trucking industry, I mean, your revenue doesn't really say a whole lot because as you guys know, like we have crazy high expenses, you know, maybe you're paying at your driver, which is probably my number one expense. Maybe you're paying your driver. You're definitely paying for your truck, whether you own rent or lease, you're definitely paying for your truck. Your insurance is crazy high. Like I know my insurance is right around $900 for one truck. I've seen some people spend it as much as two, $3,000 on your truck every single month for insurance alone. And then obviously fuel and then tolls and then factoring fees, dispatch fees, um, hotel fees, 
maintenance. Like we have so many expenses. So don't get caught up with your, with revenue. People posted on YouTube and Facebook, Hey, I made 10 K last week. You know, if you're just starting out, don't get discouraged because I'm not doing that. You might not be doing it. If you are doing it. Awesome. I'm super proud of you. That's really exciting, but not everyone does that in the first couple of months. There's a lot of learning lessons, a lot of growing pains. You're probably going to make a lot of mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes, but as long as you stick with it, I really think that this industry and, and these companies have a lot of potential to become successful, especially if you're driving yourself. If you're not, if you're not paying a driver, you're, you are going to make a lot of money. You're going to make a decent amount of money driving a box truck. You're going to work long hours. It's going to be hard. Driving a box truck is not easy. I've done it several times. It's physically and mentally, emotionally exhausting, but there's a lot of potential to make a lot of money. So don't get too caught up with the revenue, the gross income, but I did have a particularly good week and that's because I made a Google my business page. So route 20 trucking company, I just located it out of my home office here in um, central Pennsylvania and someone found me through Google. So they reached out to me. They said, Hey, you know, do you have any spare drivers? Um, I, I have some deliveries that need to be made all throughout the West coast and our driver backed out last minute. And if you guys are following along my channel, you know that I got an 18 foot box truck, which please everybody, if you're listening to this, if you see me on Facebook, on YouTube, do not get anything less than a 24 foot box truck. You will, you will struggle immensely to find anything paying more than a dollar 50 a mile um, for LTL that'll fit in an 18 foot box truck. So don't get anything less than 24 foot. That way you can run with Amazon relay whenever your authority is new. And just a lot of the major brokers don't even work with anything less than 24 foot unless they're paying like a dollar a mile. And, and if you want to expedite like cargo vans and sprinter vans, that's a whole different, a whole different ball game, a whole different company, and a whole different like dispatching and load board and everything's different with expediting and, and sprinter vans and cargo vans. But if you're a box truck, you want to be paid, you know, a dollar eighty, two bucks, two fifty a mile. You don't want to be taking loads for eighty cents a mile, a dollar a mile. So don't get anything less than a twenty four foot box truck. So with that being said, I, I had someone reach out to me through Google and they found me as a trucking company and they asked if I had a driver available. So I actually didn't run my truck this week. Um, I had my driver drive their truck and they basically compensated the company and then i in turn um, paid my driver for for his time i pay my drivers 55 cents a mile over the road that seems to work out pretty well i don't pay them by the hour if they were doing local runs i would pay them probably 25 bucks an hour but i pay my drivers um 55 cents a mile for going over the road so that's i think that's probably the majority of the money that was made let's see yeah, so for my sales, yeah, so driving to Ohio, Minnesota, Colorado, and Missouri, and then I did two other runs that I got paid for, and I factored them. So I made about $1,100 driving my own truck, and then a little under $3,000 driving someone else's truck, and this was over a period of 10 days, so... um drove for about 10 days, grossed about $4,000 and my company's not doing well. So let me just say that as a disclaimer, like if you run a 26 foot box truck, you can make a lot more money than this. But if you're struggling, hopefully we can figure this out together. And hopefully I, I inspire you, give you a little bit of motivation. I want to let you know that you're not alone. This, uh, this industry is not easy. So a couple of growing pains, but this is only my first month of running my first month of actually running the truck. So, I mean, no business is going to be incredibly successful in the first month or two of operation. So you're going to learn a lot. You're going to make some mistakes, but hopefully after the first two or three months, you figure it out. So I paid dispatching fees of $55 in the last week of August. I paid my driver a little over two grand, and then I paid for one night in a hotel this week. So all in all, for my labor between my dispatcher and my driver, a little over $2,000 for fuel little under a thousand dollars um nine hundred and twenty dollars i have a fuel card i was using the efs fuel card with taft's factoring company that's that's who i use for factoring but i'm switching away from them because their app is pretty not user friendly so i'm switching to fuel man so if you guys are looking for a, a fuel card i've heard good things about fuel man and i'm going to start using them 
moving forward. So almost spent a thousand bucks in 10 days on fuel. Um, factoring company, 3%. That's not going anywhere. Every single month I pay $73 in interest on my truck loan. So you want to make sure I talk about this in another video, but you want to make sure you are splitting your, your loan payments between the principal and the interest. So every single month you should have, you know, X number going towards principal and Y number going towards interest. Uh, job supplies. Let's see what this was for truck one, $127. I got an ELD uh, from keep trucking. So every three months, they're going to charge me $127. The hardware was free, but they locked me into a three-year contract. So $127 every three months, that comes out to, what, almost $40. A little over $40 a month for the ELD. Truck maintenance. I had an absolute disaster happen to me. Um, let's see. in For general, yeah, my, uh, my water pump. Jeez, my water pump broke on Saturday, and I had to be somewhere um monday so i had to hire someone to come out to look at the truck on sunday paid pretty hefty for the emergency mechanic to come on site to fix my water pump but i got it up and running so i found out from my driver that it was broken monday afternoon and then by no sorry saturday afternoon and by monday morning it was fixed so we were able to run monday night 48 hour turnaround i was super happy about that um, and then I had to get two new tires, so close to $900 on the two new tires for my truck. Hopefully, I've heard with the truck, you're going to replace every single tire every single year. So I just, I factor in $50 of maintenance every single day for my budget. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, spent $1,500 on maintenance in these 10 days. So a little bit more than what I had budgeted. But, you know, I also got two new tires. So that'll only happen once a year with those tires, hopefully. Spent $50 on tolls. I got an easy pass. Highly recommend getting an easy pass if you don't have one. Uh, so there's 50 bucks on tolls. And lastly, depreciation. So I talk about this in my other videos, but every single month you want to capture depreciation on your truck. If you don't know how to capture depreciation, contact me. I'll help you out. Most commercial vehicles get depreciated over five years. Um, so you want to make sure you're capturing your depreciation. So any amount that goes towards the principal of your truck loans will not count as a business expense. The interest paid right here, that's a business expense. Um, but the amount that goes towards principal on your loan is not an expense. However, you can expense depreciation um, over 60 months or five years for a commercial vehicle. So net income was negative $1,300 for the last week of August. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm struggling pretty significantly, but I'm not going to give up. Um, let's see, let's see the month, the total month. So gross, it's almost $7,000 revenue for the, for my very first month driving an 18 foot box truck. Um, cost of labor, $4,500 fuel, $1,600. So after I paid for labor and fuel, my profit was $756 for the very first month of running my trucking company. Um, if any of you guys have ever started a business other than trucking, I mean, no business is successful in the very first month that you start. So don't get discouraged. I'm, I'm here. I'm showing you my actual QuickBooks. Um, I'm showing you that it is a struggle sometimes. You know, Maybe it's not. Maybe you're crushing it. And if, if like I said, if you are crushing it, I'm super proud of you. Keep doing good things. But if you're not crushing it, don't give up. Because I think there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, advertising and marketing. So I am trying to sell my 18 foot truck because, um, little spoiler alert, I just bought a 26 foot truck. So hopefully my company is on the up and up. So I'm trying to sell my 18 foot truck. Um, and if I don't sell it, I think I've got some other local deliveries lined up for that. But factoring fees, yada, yada, insure or interest. Yep. Um, let's see what else. Um, that's pretty much it. I've talked about everything else. So just to kind of recap negative $3,000 in my first month and let's see how, how close my, my maintenance is. Um, let's see August 1st to August 31st. So I spent $1,700 on maintenance. Let's see. I, I use 22 for a number of working days per month. So I, like I said, I factor in $50 a day. So 1700 divided by 22. So I spent $77 a day on maintenance, but I had 
a water pump go out and the two new tires. I don't think that's going to be routine maintenance. Hopefully the month of September, I spend less on maintenance. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so this is the first real month of driving my truck. So some growing pains with an 18 foot truck. Um, but I think my driver is happy. I'm paying him. I got a great dispatcher and I just recently got a 26 foot box truck. So hopefully we can start pulling in, um, you know, three, maybe 4,000 miles a week with the 26 foot box truck, start making closer to $2 per mile. I think our goal is $1.80 a mile, including a little bit of deadhead. Um, anything over 50 miles of deadhead, I factor into my rate and I also pay my driver for it. He shouldn't be punished for having to go 100 miles deadhead just to pick up something. So I pay my driver anything over 50 miles of deadhead. But yeah, that's the video, guys. Um, I'll wrap it up here. I went out on a couple tangents, but there's a lot to talk about with your with your trucking company, with my trucking company, with um, accounting and QuickBooks and all of your credit cards and bank accounts. Um, just to wrap it up, keep up with your bookkeeping on a somewhat regular basis, and I really think it'll help you all out. And if you're struggling in your first month, don't get discouraged. Uh, don't give up keep going and um, reach out if you uh, ever want to talk about your trucking company or your bookkeeping your taxes your accounting i would love to help so appreciate you all watching subscribe to my youtube channel uh, check me out on facebook at harrisburg bookkeeping and uh, we can chat there so appreciate you all watching and stay tuned next week i'll talk about my first week of september